Good morning, welcome to Garden Crossings. I'm Heidi. Today I'm gonna to take you for a walk through the greenhouse and show you what's going on. So this is our busiest plant week of the season. Uh, there's 40 some thousand plants coming in today, I think. So we should get those planted in the next day or two. Uh, but I wanna take a look as the preparations are beginning before these plants come in. So we're waiting on our four star truck to come in with all the pretty little babies. And there's a lot of work that the team is doing today, just getting everything set and ready. So once the plants get here, we can rock and roll and get them all planted. So the team has brought all of the filled pots out into the greenhouses. Here you can see we've got all of our Eco Grande pots filled with soil. They're all stickered and ready for when the plants come in. I'm not sure how many different locations the team will be planting in today. So far I've walked past four different sections in greenhouses. So we have different temperature levels in all of the greenhouses. So that kind of depends on where things go. Uh, the first four greenhouses are all gonna be petunias, superbells, and verbena, because those are such huge plant categories. We keep them all grown in the same area. And then all the other random annuals each have their own specific space as well. Some plants like it a little bit warmer, some plants like it a little cooler. Uh, we also kind of group them by how much water each of the different plants need, just to make it easier on the growers out here in the greenhouses. So in addition to all of these shipping carts here all filled up and ready, they also have our planting line set up. We'll head over here and take a look at that. So this is our newest greenhouse. It's all completed and ready just in time. Um, these are actually, these are some of the plugs that were left over from hanging baskets that we planted up a couple weeks ago. So we didn't wanna plant these at that time because we knew we were gonna have more plants coming and to plant up, you know, 10, 20 pots wasn't worth it. So we're gonna stick them all with what's coming in today. Uh, but these are what the annuals look like when they come in. This here is Supertunia Latte, beautiful little flower on it. Because these have been sitting at the greenhouse for two weeks from when we originally got them, they have put on a little bit of growth. So the team will probably go through and trim some of them back a little bit because we don't want this much leggy or vining going on right away when we plant them. Beautiful red, it looks like Supertunia Red. Oh, here's a new one. This is Supertunia Mini Vista Yellow. Really pretty. Supertunia Persimmon. Among some others. So these are just, like I said, the extras. These will get planted with the rest of them when they come in. We've got our lift here. If any hanging baskets need to go up in the ceiling, they'll get put up on those drippers and hung. Now, this is our planting line. So the, the girls will be planting on this line. There'll be somebody that's doing the organization and bringing all the plugs to the front of the line. Two people will be planting, one person will be putting the plant tags in, and then a fourth person will be laying all of the plants down here at the end of the greenhouse. So we'll show this in action once the plants get here. Uh, but for now, this is just a preparation and setup. The other thing I think that's gonna be kind of interesting is this is a very, clean open slate so nothing's been planted in here as of yet so it'll be fun to see just how full the space gets with all of the beautiful plants once the team starts getting planted i'm going to actually take you through all the spaces that way you can see all of the different areas that we'll be planting into
just got word that four star arrived so i'm heading out to the garage door up ahead there and watch as all the little babies get unloaded let's go check out the truck they always have such pretty trucks so we'll see what this one oh yeah shoot this is just a plain jane looking semi must be all the pretty ones are in use today shoot i was hoping to show you just a really their trucks are wrapped so beautifully with all the flowers all over them so oh well it's a busy week for them i'm sure so that's why they have to probably go to other places to to use semis so we're gonna start unloading these are all snuggled inside the warm greenhouse now so now the job is to go through and get them all counted and checked off the packing list to make for sure that everything that we ordered was also received so Jen our inventory manager will be doing that also Alyssa our gal that checks for bugs and odd things She'll also be inspecting all these plants before they get brought out to the greenhouses to be planted as well. So the thing I think they're going to start with today is probably petunias, superbells, and verbena because those are just the easiest things to get started and also are the largest amount of plants. So if you're planting a few thousand bubble gum, you can do that and not need to change the planting line up and just knock those out super quick. So that is next on the list of what they will be doing today. So while Jen's getting them all counted and inventoried, let's go see what maybe some of the other team is doing right now. we did was about 38 minutes worth of work so now we're just going to show you the actual process of the shipping line here so to gather the plants that are needed and the tags that go along with them oh I had to stop the line because <laughs> plants were getting all the way to the end there so they'll get that roll in here again in just a second they just moved the track so there's a little bit further walking distance from the end of the track to where they get set down so it's a little bit harder to keep up with that additional distance, but we don't want to constantly be moving the track because that's a pretty time consuming process. So uh, if somebody needs to jump in at a different point in the line and help somebody else out, uh, they do that. You can see Kelly just jumped in and is helping Ron to get the tags in place. So we'll go ahead and let them get this variety finished and then we'll show you the process of uh, actually start to finish how it works okay. so new varieties just been grabbed this is the super tunia uh, rose veined so they verified they have the right plants they have the right tags sylvia and emily here are just a planting away sylvia does her side 
And Emily does her side as they go past them. As they get down there, Rhonda's getting them tagged. So that's the um, variety they just finished there. That's uh, trailing blue vein. So Kelly jumped on the line to get the tags, help Rhonda get caught up. So that's the beautiful thing with the line is you can kind of jump around a little bit if need be, if you can see somebody is needing help. Uh, ideally though, they should be able to do everything just staying in one spot and not need to jump around. But it's great that instead of just standing and waiting, they'll just fill in where it's needed and get the job done. This is the planting process today. They're doing pretty good. They started around 1.30 or so. And yeah, getting things knocked out. I think it's about 2.30 right now, 2, 2.40. So a few hours left in the day. By the end of the day, this host side of the greenhouse should be all nicely filled in with plants and ready to start tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be running two lines of people planting. So twice as much will get done. Well, this is one of the growers and she is getting the plants all watered in now that they have them planted. So she'll just get them a nice little soaking, get the water so it goes all the way to the bottom of the pot. And then probably she won't need to do it again for another few days unless the sun comes out. And then she'll have to kind of watch them. But usually at this time of year when they get them planted and water them in, they can usually go about three or four days before they need to have another touch of water. That's all in a day's work. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, I love to see the questions that you have about the processes that are going on. If you're new to the station, be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when we post up our next video. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.